So um, the member profile today is kind of our community church. And this is Vance Swigenjen. Thank you very much, Don. Here I am wishing I brought nuggets to come to the house of the battles of interaction. Um, how many of you have been to a Nuggets game, or a Rockies game, or a Broncos game, or any major event in the Denver Bucks game? Okay, whatever. Yeah, Avalanche, yes. You've been to games before, right? When your team on the field does something great, what do you do? You stand up and cheer, and the people that are right around you, what do you do with them? You high five, you hug, you get excited like you had something to do with what happened down there on the field, right? Um, I came into town about the same time that Dawn took on the uh, Chamber of Commerce. And um, it's exciting to be a part of such a vibrant community. And so as a time of celebration to have Dawn a part of the Chamber, can we just cheer high five? part of the chamber. It's trying to be a part of this community. We have something to celebrate at Conifer Community Church this year that is rather unique. This is our 60th anniversary of being around in the area. In November we will be celebrating and uh, as a part of that there will be a community celebration that we would love for all of you to be a part of. You'll have more information on that as we get closer. Um, as I'm walking through the year, and I'm thinking about the ways that uh, Conifer Community Church is a part of this great community. One of the things that I'm asking, and I'm coming around, and, and many of you may get a phone call from me. I would love to get a phone call from you and uh, sit down and talk about this. Is I want to try to figure out how we can together make Conifer area a better place to live, which is a very challenging question. Because we have a wonderful place to live right now. But how can we build those partnerships? How can we build those um, activities, those programs, and those different things where we come alongside each other and we build an even more vibrant, more exciting community together? There are things that we have been doing to try to participate in that. And so um, just by way of example, here are some of the things that Conifer Community Church has been doing, not to brag about anything that we've been doing, but just to give you some examples of ways that we have thought of in the past and, and ways that we would invite others to participate with us as well. Um, we have partnered with nonprofits such as ECHO, Mountain Resource Center, and uh, others to provide wood for our area, other provisions of, of um, mon monetary need and, and different things for those who may come through and, and may be in need. Um, we have, all right, yeah, we can celebrate these things, that's, that's fine with me. Um, we partner with community organizations to raise funds for causes that are close to the heart of our community. We work with 285 Mound, with the Chamber, with many of you, um, or with Janet, um, for the Barefoot Bluegrass Barbecue for Joy International last year. We continue to work with Joy International um, to help them out. We have a fundraiser coming up. We have a Zumba group that meets at our church on Tuesday and Wednesday nights, and they are going to do a Zumba marathon for Joy International coming up in the, in the month. Stan shakes his head. We're expecting you to be there, Stan. And, uh, um, so if you are if you are into Zumba, it's a way that you can participate with us together. Also, we uh, hosted a trivia night, which is something that is, is uh, rather unique in the mountain community. We hosted a trivia night last year for Conifer High School uh, for the band, or for the basketball team, rather. And uh, we, we donated all the proceeds to them. This year, we're going to do one for the Cub Scouts of uh, Troop 285. And uh, so we're going to have that in the month of April, and I'll have some information on that as well. So partnering with many groups that... Uh, that are close to the heart of the community. And I invite any of you as well that uh, would like to partner with us. We have plenty of space that we can open up and, and host some of these types of events if you have something that you would like to do as well. Uh, we plan to continue work this, this year, and uh, this, would, this would be cause for celebration. I had very little to do with this. But uh, we have plans to continue work with Impact Christmas Lighting to expand and provide more Christmas lights um, for the display for everyone in our community. Um, we, have, we have some great plans to expand that this year. 
it's all timed out to music, park in the parking lot at the church, and, and just enjoy that um, during the Christmas season. Uh, currently, we're renovating our children's area to provide an updated, clean, and safe environment for kids. And uh, we always have space available for any business meetings. We have chamber lunch and learns um, that we host at the church. We have many other um, community meetings that meet there. If your space is limited and you would like to have a business meeting of some sort, we offer that at no charge um, to those in our community as long as the space is available on that particular day. And so we invite you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, coming up immediately in our future, we are uh, having Easter services. I don't know if you guys have heard this year we're having Easter again. <laughs> uh, March 31st is, is that day. And uh, we have services at 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and 10.30 in the morning. And uh, we will have an 8 o'clock community breakfast that we would love for all of you to come and be a part of. Um, free food. And uh, if you have kids or grandkids or friends with kids, we have a uh, egg hunt that will uh, begin at 9 a.m. And uh, so we would love to have you participate with that. Um, Again, let me go back and, and say I would like to set up a meeting with any one of you that I can over the coming months to try to talk about that issue of how we can partner to make this area a better place to live. Uh, which, as I mentioned, a challenge because we have a wonderful place to live. But how can we continue to move forward as a community? Do you join me in that?